technology and innovation conclave 2025, mainly focusing on the space technologies theme, which aims to foster synergy among diverse stakeholders, driving collaboration to realize ambitious vision of Fixed Bharat 2047. Uh, you all may be knowing the main curtain raiser for ESTRIC 2025 was done in Delhi on October 6, 2025 in the presence of uh, Dr. Jidendra Singh Ji, our Honorable Minister of State Space, who assembled here. We, uh, we have assembled here to brief you about the, one of the important themes, the space technology theme within the scope of ESTRIC 2025. As far as the space sector is concerned, uh, you all know 2025 has witnessed several major achievements. If you look at uh, from January to till today, something around 200 plus accomplishments and achievements are made under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. And uh, it was on January 6th, we released uh, the first time something around uh, 10 terabit data of, data, scientific data from Aditya L1. And then subsequently the second bit of data was released somewhere in February. Till today we have released something around 15 terabit data of Aditya L1 mission. Then January 16th was another important historic day for Indian space program. The uh, SpaceX uh, docking experiment was successfully done. And in fact uh, we have done, that was the first time we did the docking experiment. Uh, imagine two satellites rotating with 28,400 kilometers per hour speed in, in space. Of course, uh, it was with less relative velocity and using a set of algorithms, cameras, propulsion systems, inertial systems. We have successfully aligned the satellites and docked. And India becoming the fourth country successfully doing that great experiment. Till today, twice we have completed the docking then de-docking and power transfer from one satellite to another transfer, another satellite, and it is a major accomplishment. Another thing, it was January uh, 29th, we had another important mission, uh, the GSLV F-15, which was the 100th launch vehicle mission from uh, the Sadhisthavan Space Center, and which was successfully accomplished and perfectly placed the NVS-0 to satellite perfectly in the required elliptical orbit. Then coming to another important achievement, you know, uh, when the space program was started in the nine, year 1962, and uh, important milestone, the first milestone was 1963, November 21st, we had the first uh, major milestone, the tiny rocket lifted off from, first tiny rocket lifted off from Indian soil. And uh, for that, the rocket was given by uh, the USA team, and uh, the sodium vapor payload came from France, the entire thing was assembled with their support, the Indians from India we lifted off. From that humble beginning, we have moved a long way. And uh, this year, uh, July 30th, we had an important mission called NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar Satellite. Here there were two important payloads. One was the L-band SAR payload along with a 12-meter unfurlable antenna. This was realized by JPL NASA, spending something around 10,300 crore money. And we realized a equivalent payload called s band SAR payload. And the entire satellite bus was built by Indians in India. And finally, the satellite was lifted off successfully using our own Mark II rocket, GSLV F-15 rocket, which successfully lifted, F-16 rocket, which successfully lifted off and placed the satellite perfectly in the orbit. And today I am very happy with the humble beginning getting a small uh, rocket from other country. And today, really, we are launching heavy satellites jointly uh, uh, with uh, even uh, the JPL NASA. Then another important program, Axiom 4 program, the first time a Indian Subhash Masukla was safely sent to International Space Station. Of course, he was the second astronaut who was lifted up from for India. First was 1984, Raghi Sarmaji. And this was the second thing, but first mission to International Space Station. Actually, we have to thank our Honorable Prime Minister. It was his mission based on which this entire mission was executed. And today we have got a lot of benefit. And whatever benefit has come, it is going to be useful for our own Gaganyan program. Also, there were seven microgravity experiments were carried out. 
and all are yielding very very important results and after uh, our prime minister took over as the prime minister of india uh, in the year 2014 you know 2015 we had the first national meet and we brought all the user agencies and a lot of discussion happened and we had a road map and we have executed now the second road map national meet we happened this year uh, on 22nd august in fact uh, there were 300 plus one on one meetings were happened with 63 user agencies and all state governments and union territories and then of course the entire data was summarized and presented in the national meet and today we are having a clear road map of what we have to execute for the next uh, at least 10 to 15 years and in fact this entire thing was executed again with the direction and guideline and vision of our honorable uh, prime minister also this year we have got very very important uh, uh, achievements project approvals rather we have got one of the important project approval is uh, for the third launch pad right now we are having two launch pads in srigiri kota the third launch pad uh, with a budgeted amount of a little more than 4000 crore we are going to build so the government of india gave the approval in fact the work has already started then we had the national space day you know 23rd august 2023 was a historical day and india as the first country we soft landed the chandrayaan 3 near south pole of moon and we made every indian proud and our, our honorable prime minister declared that to place as the shivasakti point and declared that day as the national space day and in fact we had the celebration last year and this year too we had the celebration and almost i will tell we have uh, taken the entire activities to more than 1.5 lakh citizen students and industrial partners across the country and the finally validity function happened in delhi in bharat mandapam uh, on 23rd august uh, in fact it was a very very important event uh, we showcased the startup ecosystem the growth in the country and uh, the uh, we have built for the first time a one to one model of the first module of our own space station eas that was displayed in fact this has brought again benefit to lot of people including more than 1000 students uh, they participated and press people were there and then of course we have done lot of uh, uh, competition including isro robotic challenge and we have also given away the prizes Uh, we had lot of uh, important chiefs there and uh, our principal secretary pk misra ji himself was there then our honorable minister jitendra singh ji was there and dr vk saraswat was there and most of the department secretaries also participated and coming to the uh, other important accomplishments we have done this year uh, you know our uh, uh, prime minister of india he always give lot of full encouragement to take the indian space program to greater heights and we had breakthrough in the semi cryogenic engine program so we are developing a 200 ton liquid oxygen kerosene engine for the first time we have made major breakthrough in successfully completing the test of the power head test and for gaganyan program the integrated air drop test yes when the entire module returns in the final phase almost nine parachutes has to work in a Uh, singer next way for the proper splash uh, splash down so we lifted off a uh, simulated module using a helicopter depth is something around 3 kilometers uh, above uh, here then using nine parachute successfully it is splash down this was one of the important experiment which was done and also couple of important infrastructure we have inaugurated one of the important thing near uh, tumkur uh, near bangalore the titanium alloy production facility uh, we have rolled out and another thing you know uh, the government of india has uh, rolled out the space sector reform 2020 and uh, when the space sector reform was rolled out hardly we had one or two startup companies today some around 300 plus startup companies are there in the india in our country working for the space program this year we had major accomplishment uh, a kalam uh, 1200 solid motor for vikram one launch vehicle developed by skyroot and jointly uh, uh, done the test was successfully done in sri rikota it was a major accomplishment we have hand held uh, them and then of course another important thing is uh, the sslv small satellite launch vehicle the technology is transferred to hcl uh, 
uh, in fact uh, our NCL and InSpace. Uh, InSpace is the uh, space promotion and authorization agency and NCL is our commercial wing. Together the MOU signed with uh, HAL and uh, of course uh, recently we have also released the data of AstroSat. AstroSat is one of the important satellites uh, working successfully 10 years in the space so that data has uh, come out. The ExpoSat data recently we have released out and then another important thing is air breathing propulsion is one of the very very crucial activity which is taking place across the world we have also succeeded recently we have done a lot of tests in collaboration with uh, uh, nal csar lab and uh, in fact i i want to tell uh, the space program is really doing uh, very successfully things are going on and uh, very important activity is the space sector reform this year lot of good things are happening uh, in fact, uh, even the recent uh, IAAC, uh, so many startup companies exhibited their talent and potential to the international community. Now, uh, in line with the achievements made by the DOS, just uh, as I mentioned, KESTIC will showcase groundbreaking research, pioneering technological breakthrough and disruptive innovations from deep tech st uh, to startups. It will also host thought-provoking dialogues featuring, uh, uh, you have already seen, there will be Nobel laureates and lot of other foreigners who are going to participate other than our own experts from the country. And this is a mission and vision rolled out by Honorable Prime Minister of India. And please imagine 13 scientific technology departments together is going to showcase our potential, our talents, our accomplishments and our vision and what way the country is really contributing and growing in the science and technology area that is going to be exhibited. And uh, the main program is planned, rather the program is planned on 3rd, 4th and 5th um, uh, of uh, November uh, in Bharat Mandabam, Delhi. And this is a uh, place we are also going to showcase, as it, uh, it was told, uh, the space technology theme is one of the major highlights out of uh, 10 major themes. What we are proposing to do is, we are going to showcase the accelerated realization of launch vehicle and its upgrades and production partnership. Because when you talk about a ISRO activities, let it be launch vehicle or satellite, without industrial partners and academia, I think we cannot do great job. And today, something around 500 plus industries are participating in our program. Other than three, 300 startups, those things are going to be exhibited. Satellite platforms and next generation payloads for the communication, navigation, and earth observation is going to be discussed. And mission ready um, adaptation for quantum secure links, this is going to be discussed. And expansion of application like teleeducation, telemedicine, and disaster warning and mitigation is one of the very, very important application. And weather forecast and resource management, and uh, all are uh, for what? Citizen centric and citizen friendly citizen services. These aspects are going to be addressed. And the Gaganyan program is a very, very important program. We are working towards that. And the entire roadmap enabling uh, the entire accomplishment and the entire targets we are going to discuss. And the conclave architecture is already uh, told. Uh, there will be plenary sessions. Then there will be panel discussions. And in the space area, there will be a keynote speech then there will be speakers, important speakers. It is not only from ISRO, it is from academia and industry. People are going to participate and there will be a panel discussion. First of all, I have to thank uh, my team, uh, headed by uh, Mr. Rajarajan, uh, the director of the Mother Center of ISRO, the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. They have done really outstanding work and they have discussed almost uh, 20 meetings have happened and finally uh, everything is... Uh, Converged and we are going to showcase entire activity. And uh, you all know, our Honorable Prime Minister has clearly outlined the Space Vision 2047. And today we are having something around 56 satellites in the orbit serving the common man of this country. And almost uh, in another four years, three to four years time frame, this number of satellites, numbers are going to be increased to something, uh, something around three times. And by uh, 2027, we are going to accomplish the Gaganyan program. And we are going to build our own space station called Bharat Andri Station by 2035. And first module, we have got the project approval and right now the work is going on. And that is going to be placed in the orbit by 2028. Those who came to Delhi 
you would have seen the one is one model it's a very very complex and interesting job and uh, then we are going to build and we are to do lot of experimentations and then another important thing the next generation launcher in fact our first launch vehicle the capability was only 35 kg what we successfully accomplished in the year 1980 from that today we are talking about a something around 30000 kg to low earth orbit to, through the next generation launcher also honorable prime minister has given a guideline for uh, building a Uh, launcher for enabling the crewed lunar mission that has to have a capability something around we are in the conceiving phase we have not completed the design and uh, but it has to lift off something around 75000 to 80000 kg type of mass it has to lift off that is the type of work what is going on now i want to tell uh, till today something around 433 satellites of 34 countries have accomplished out of that almost 95 satellites are accomplished during the last 10 years that means uh, when the entire launch program started from 1980 in 45 years the last 10 years is 95% of the foreign satellite launch that shows the exponential growth of the space sector now that's what i want to tell initially we were undergoing a experimentation phase then gradually we moved to operation phase today we are a exponential growth so that is the place we are standing and uh, india space program lot of new programs are there government has approved chandrayaan 4 and chandrayaan 5 program is approved lupax mission we have joint mission with uh, japan honorable prime minister recently when he was in japan he announced that program so we are working towards that so there are lot of exciting missions and uh, next month beginning we are going to have the lvm3 m5 vehicle uh, going to lift off and place a Uh, CMS-03 communication satellite. So there are lot of exciting mission in front of us, and the entire activities are carried out under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister of India, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji. So you all will enjoy these three days in Delhi. Uh, it is uh, rather a celebration of emerging science and technology and innovation conclave. Uh, Compoundly, uh, exi going to be done by the 13 science and technology ministries. Uh, under the leadership role of the science and technology minister thank you hello now interaction is a one by one 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 side uh, ah pinky thank you pinky one second one second ma'am one second satellite being launched in 2013 it's been more than 10 years and still we uh, hear the reports that uh, the navic system is not complete also if you could brief us more about the indigenous uh, atomic clock the rubidium clock that is being made you know the navic system you have to commission i mean that is a very very important activity and right now there are four satellites uh, in the orbit and to have complete the constellation we need to have seven satellites so three more satellites building is going on and the first satellite